So to continue with the idea of um, social responsibility, a sense of social responsibility mm -hmm. as motivating philanthropy, um, earlier we had the opportunity to speak with the founder of the Ixtatan Foundation, which funds a, a high school in a village in Guatemala. Mm -hmm. So what might you say to a donor who is interested in education but is like trying to make that decision between Yale and that other organization? And what do you think it's fair to sort of cat try to categorize the morality of one over another or like to say that one donation could be has a potential or should be considered more philanthropic? Def Definite no to the latter statement. Okay. Uh, philanthropy is philanthropy, whether it's big or small, whether it's here or there. So I would, you know, there is, there is no question about that. But you raise a very interesting uh, example because um, I have another example to that, and that is when we launched the campaign in 2006, the, the uh, public phase. I, you know, we organized a, a multimedia show to show a little bit what the campaign was about. And we featured some of the students at the time. So this was all before your time. And I had, we had two young women there who founded Mercado Global. Uh, you've heard of it? And uh, you know, they founded it while they were students here. And they got their training and teaching to do that here. And last I heard, it's still thriving. They are not together. One, you know, one was in, uh, from India, and she went back to her home. And uh, the other uh, uh, young woman involved is still at it. And uh, what she is doing is exactly what you are describing. Uh, they help uh, women uh, in, in, in cooperatives there to, with their crafts, uh, develop sales channels for it, help with the design a little bit so that it can be sold, that people want to buy it here. And all, and that the proceeds all go to pay the women, obviously, for the things. But the profits all go into the school system there, so that every kid in that cooperative can go to school. Now these are two and the same things, right? Mm -hmm. And but funded through two different ways. So you could say, you know, I can accomplish the same goal by investing in a person through a scholarship, or that I enable this person to come to an institution where they can you know, develop these skills and develop this leadership. And you know, they both said they learned a lot from their master who helped them and you know, first said, what makes you think you can do that? That was his first thing and that's brought him on and they got into it. So you, know, you can accomplish the same things in different ways mm -hmm. and I think it's entirely your decision you know, where you want to do it. So would you say that making donors aware of those like individual investments that Yale is responsible for making is one of your more effective tools for um, kind of encouraging donor um, participation? The most effective tool is to find out what people are passionate about, what they really care about, and then match it with a need at the university. You can't turn somebody who is interested in helping young children, you can't compel this person to give a, you know, a, a gene disorder or something like that. It just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So you have to be sensitive and have to find out what is it that this person wants to accomplish? You know, what is his dream or her dream? And then show them that they can accomplish this dream at Yale. So you almost have a philanthropic approach to philanthropy then. Maybe. Absolutely. <laughs>